Barry Parker with the legacy ascending. Hope you all are doing well. I want to bring something to your attention. If you haven't, you should really check out Trading Economics as a good, uh, well, fantastic data on just the economy as a whole. And one of the things I want to bring up is the housing um, form. Uh, this is a good way to track what's going on in the uh, real estate market, building permits, construction, home ownership, housing index, you know, as well as the rates. So if you investing in real estate, it's a great precursor to a shift in the marketplace. So as we see, just go through, we just have the fourth quarter, which was September 22nd. They started, they have the number of, um, what is this, uh, home ownership rate, 65%, um, projecting to maintain these are all projections so the last one was 66 um 65 so we have a downward slope of home ownership if you look at the building permits and we'll, we'll focus only in america but it has everything let's go to america united states that is um building permits have and this is all September. So the building permits for September 156, 156 million, previously 153. So we still have an increase in building permits. So these are things just to watch and see what's happening, what's going on. It has a breakdown of 30 year mortgage rate, as we probably already know. It has gone up with the Fed raising rates, slowing some things down, but you know, there's still a market. Still, the market real estate is still kind of holding. Everybody's kind of looking to figure out what's going on. We see the mortgage rates, fixed rate decreases 6.95 as of the third November 3rd, 2022. It was 7%. So, that's a good thing for the uh, real estate market. Um, but as you know, uh, we're just looking over the past since August, it has increased steadily. Uh, the Fed said they were going to do another. 75 before adjusting so you know we're in that range of seven to five which is in comparison not bad if you were buying real estate in 1987 but we are not so but these are just great things to look at the building permits um yeah, that's what we just looked at construction spending That has gone up. Um, new home sales. Let's look at that. They have decreased since last month. Uh, July it was really down, but they increased from July. So you know, if we look at it as a whole. You know, the real estate market is fluctuating in this little holding pattern from this rise. So these are all precursors to what's going on in the future. You definitely should keep an eye on this. Check this out if you do not already. Add this to your resource list of uh, finding out what's going on in the housing. This is more focused on retail, on residential properties than anything on commercial side. But as we know, one side can affect the other. So to a degree, commercial is different. But this is the overall on what the economy and since January, it has the housing market index has been dropping. And it tells you what's going on fell for the 10th straight. So for the past 10 straight months, the housing market has dropped. Um, things don't happen right away in, in any economy. It's always but there's always a precursor to what's coming. So as a real estate investor, obviously if more housing market fall, there'd be more inventory, prices should drop, be in a better position to um, get lower priced properties. So um, hopefully this was helpful. Trading economics, once again, I, uh, there's no affiliate link. It is all free information. Hopefully this was helpful to you. All right, you have a good one.